Hello everyone, this is Viren and welcome to the fantasy match preview for the big game between Mumbai and Chennai. Mumbai is playing for pride and Chennai is playing for that all-important qualification spot. Now before that, keep in mind that you join the fan to play leaderboard with 25 teams. Yes, you can see currently there are a lot of prizes. First prize of the leaderboard is 2 lakh rupees. Currently, I'm also ranking in there at about 63, which is a good rank. And yes, keep in mind that the entry fee is barely anything. And yes, you can also use 10% of your bonus amount. So ensure that you make those deposits and use that bonus amount. And keep in mind that you can see above that I've joined with 10 or 11 teams itself and I've made a decent profit from the league itself. So you can keep in mind that you join with a full 25 teams because I'm also going to do that from the next game. And apart from that, yes, there is a free entry contest for you like you can see above. So ensure that you join that free entry contest too and make full use of this. Go download the fan to play app now. Now let's look at the preview for today. So today we have two really special guests with us, Vibor and Nikhil. And Vibor is obviously celebrating the return of his channel while Nikhil is celebrating too many risk passing off in the last one week. How are you both doing? Thank you, Vidain, first of all, for having me. Thank you, Irene, for having me. It's a pleasure to be on your channel. You are doing great work in this cycle. So thank you for having me and looking forward for a good discussion. Thank you. You see, he's getting Nikhil, so professional now. Off camera, jo hota hai, wo bhi record karke batana chahiye, but uh, uh, Good on, good on, we able to be back with this channel. And yes, last few games have been very good. Uh, when bowlers do well, I always sleep well. So that is something I hope continues to do. That is that is we. <laughs> yeah. And what, what are you looking at with CSK? Do you feel like they are going to go through this year? It's a long shot, uh, to be very honest. Uh, given the competition that's there, and they will rely on the teams above them to lose as well. Uh, so as of as if if I'm supporting Chennai, I'll not want to be thinking about negative for others. As uh, hmm. MS rightly said. If it happens, it happens. You just take care of your games and then see, enjoy the game. True, very true. I don't think the scenarios are too complicated this time. I've explained them in one of my videos and I'm shamelessly plugging that here. Remember to watch that video too. But anyway, uh, I don't think it'll be too complicated. Let's see how it goes. So let's get to the team then for today. Yes. So first up, uh, the keepers, Nikhil, I think we have very obvious choice here. Any other difference that you'd like to pick in terms of this section, Nikhil and Vibor? You're talking about Dhoni, right? Yeah, there's only one <laughs> option. <laughs> Dhoni. Uh, no, uh, we have option of Dhoni on. Yeah, I mean, uh, you can go with MS, but uh, as you've seen, the top order is batting well. But uh, it will not happen in all games. So in one hmm. of those games, and Historically, MS has always gotten to bat enough time in, in Mumbai games. So, uh, probably in mini grand leagues, you can try MS, but otherwise, uh, Kitchen does seem the obvious and the safe choice. If Mouse on Arthur plays, then we can take MS over. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> okay, then we have the batters. So, I think uh, Conway and Gaikwad currently pick themselves on the form that they are playing on with. Uh, do you see Rohit making the team or is there another early collapse in store in the second MICSK reverse fixture? Well, you know, Rohit has been showing enough intent for sure. But uh, just like Virat, things haven't quite worked out for him. And he mm. will have a lots of challenges uh, right up to counter because he'll have Mukesh Chaudhary running in. Uh, he'll have Mahesh Tikshina. Uh, Rohit has some of the very oh. average numbers against off spin. So, uh, he will be troubled, uh, but hmm. if Kishan can take off then, then it will probably ease Rohit into his innings, but then Kishan also starts slow. So, uh, I'll probably take both for now, in terms of hmm. Rohit and Kishan, and probably take a call at the time of the toss. So, yeah, basically Rohit can consolidate in case Kishan <laughs> takes off well. And uh, the fourth batter between Raidu and David, I think we'll go with the one batting first or any other choice there. I think whoever bats first, uh, Raidu has historically always done well against uh, Mumbai. So, uh, not a bad option to try, but same is the case with Team David. So, whoever bats first is likely to get more batting time. So, we can go down that way. Great. And I see Vibor picking Shivam Dubey in a few of his last few teams. Is he coming back again in here? 
No, I I will definitely take Ambati Raidu because I guess MS will save uh, Thikshana's over for Team David. So that's uh, the matchup which I which I will be looking forward to. So I will pick Ambati Raidu in my main team, and then I will think about Team David in my other team. So, okay. So I think we have four batters then, and uh, then the all rounders. I think again Ali picks himself with the kind of form he is in. Apart from that, uh, what do you? What are your thoughts about Daniel Sam's batting and bowling? And I'd love to hear Nikhil's comments on this. If he's bowling first, uh, they get Jaimata the wickets, uh, so he'll again get them if he's bowling first. So uh, you can again the thing about this game is there aren't too many obvious picks uh, because hmm. teams are also making a lot of changes. So it's better to go with guys who we definitely know will get enough bowling. Uh, A very good option here to try out might be uh, uh, this guy that is Rithik Shockey because hmm. there are so many left handers. Yeah. So uh, Rithik Shockey could do a very good job uh, given the left handers that are there in Chennai. So in mid England leagues, I'll definitely try Rithik, but in hmm. small leagues, we'll probably stick to just uh, having uh, Daniel Sams, especially if he bowls first. True, true. And uh, a point that we missed is uh, how do you look at the matchup between Raidu and Bumrah because Raidu has been dismissed twice by him though he strikes at one forty and that should be interesting at one kid. Yeah, Vibhor can answer that because I mean he's definitely taking Raidu. So I want to hear his. Yeah, view. true. So you, you would have definitely <laughs> thought about it. So. Let's see, Raidu. Raidu has good record against spin also, so I'm I'm guessing that Raidu will be batting at four. Or at three, maybe at three, if somebody the lock in or the pad doesn't came out, and they send Ambati Raidu if their wicket falls after six over. So I guess Raidu will be batting in middle middle overs, and he plays the spin belt. So that's the reason I will be picking him, and I will be hoping that he will do well against Kumara one more time. Uh, in 2021, he did well uh, that inning of 65, and he has good record. You said that he has a strike rate of 145, and getting this right. only two times. So. Umra will try his luck again against uh, hmm. Ambati Raidu, but I hope that uh, Raidu will beat him. Agreed. And uh, in this section, we have a very interesting pick: the, the man who loves CSK, Kyren Pollard. How do you see Kyren Pollard playing CSK this time? Because form is surely not on this side, and Bravo has dismissed him a massive ten times. So, how do you all see that playing out? Uh, something that we uh, both said. I'm sure MS will save Tishina. Uh, for the likes of Bravo, uh, for the likes of Sir Tim David and Pollard, uh, that's what most teams have done. Uh, what could not work in CSK's favor is they don't have an express pace bowler, so that's where Pollard can really take hold of the medium pace bowler. But I'm sure they know each other mm. very well now, and maybe if we see the state dismissal again, it will just be copy book Amazon. So the one right near the side screen. <laughs> yeah. So I think we have two all-rounders then Mohin Ali and we are picking yeah. Daniel Sams, keeping in mind that we don't have too many options. But if they take Shaukin plays, he becomes a good pick from the section. Uh, then we have the bowlers. I think Bumra and Bravo will pick themselves for sure. Apart from yeah. that, who are the other two who you feel? I think Tikshana, like you mentioned, will also bowl at the death, especially yeah. against Pollard. So I think these three will be very common for most most guys. That is Bumra, Bravo, and Tikshana. The fourth guy could be M Ashwin, uh, more because we've seen they can start to slow down, and Vankere, despite whatever the surfaces were, it, it is assisting bowlers. So, and, mm. and M Ashwin is someone who's actually bowling up top more in the power play as well, sometimes two overs. So, uh, it could work in Mumbai's favour, it could not. But again, uh, I'm going to go with a safer guy. You could definitely go with Meredith if they bowl first. But if Mumbai is bowling second, I'll probably tempt it to go with Amish. True, true. Any differential thoughts there, Vibhor? No, I will also pick Meredith if Amai is bowling first and Gorgan if he is bowling second. Great. So I think we have many toss-based picks currently yes. that we would have to make. So. I think uh, that is it's important for you to ensure that you guys look at the playing eleven and the and the toss before making this team your final one. Then we have the captain and vice captain. I think Moin is a common option, but like our experts are currently mentioning, they are very inclined to look at the toss before making their captaincy and vice captaincy choices. So, what would change it change based on the toss for you guys? I think uh, Conway, Kishan, and Moin will probably be a common options. Uh, I'm a bowlers guy, so I'll again try and back Bumrah and Bravo once again. 
purely because both of them goal in the in the end overs they can potentially not i'm not saying they always take five or four but even hmm. if they take two wickets bat, batters are not making 30s 40s consistently so if you can get oh. 50 50 points from your bowler and if he is your captain you get 100 points that's a lot uh, given out games have been going so far so uh, probably tempted to go the gumra bravo way but hmm. again, i'll be very cautious in terms of uh, whether gumra is bowling first or second and that also matters so i'll probably be tempted to stay with the bowling options but yeah don't be surprised if people come with conway kishan and mohin as well True, and then you have people like Avesh who, along with taking two wickets, also come and hit a few cracking sixes down the order. So you yeah. never know who provides you what kind of value. So I think we have it there. Then I think we have safe captaincy choices in Ali, Conway, and the likes, and we have risky captaincy choices in first innings dead bowlers. Whoever bowls first, and your vice captain could be the person bowling second. Okay, great. So I think that covers our GL options and our base team. Apart from that, who do you see making the challenge team for you in this game? Yeah, people, you can go first. Yeah, I will. If a Mumbai Indians will bowling first, then again I will think about picking Meredith because I guess Meredith is going to have a good game this time. So I will definitely hmm. pick Meredith if they bowl first, and I will pick Ishan Vishen and Mahesh Tikshana or a deep or Dwayne Love. No, or no, yar. Ab. पूरा बता दो हमको फोर प्लेयर्स डन वील गो विद ऑल फोर तो आई विल पिक महेश ठीक है डन ठीक है एंड सर व्हाट व्हाट आर योर थॉट्स ऑन दिस हु वुड यू गो विद दुमरा ब्रावो एंड द थर्ड गाय एज यू से यू हैव टू से वन नेम सो आई विल प्रोबेबली गो विद मोइन अली Moin Ali, yeah. So I think that provides a good balance in terms of your first innings or bowling options as yeah. well as your all-round option. So yeah. if you see Meredith in a challenge team on fan to play, you should know mm-hmm. that that's with or challenging you. And the other side, if you see Bumra or Ali, mm-hmm. Ali, you should know that that's Nikhil itself. So I think those are the challenge pick. I am going. You know that I'm a bowlers man too. So my choices will be whoever bowls first. I will probably go. With Bumrah and Meredith, if Mumbai bowl first, on the other hand, if CSK bowl first, then that person will be Dwayne Bravo, and because Tiksh Shana is bowling at the death, I don't have too many other choices. Yeah, correct. See, that is that is the advantage of having a spinner who can bowl at the death, and we've seen that with Chahil as well now. That because they are bowling at death, their value increases many folds, and so in oh. a good way, in a way, it's also good for fantasy as well because you can even bank on them as captains. So we've come a long way from not having spinners in T20s to making them captains uh, in for in their NBA death overs. <laughs> yes, for the death overs. Well. So very true. Apart from that, uh, any closing thoughts from you guys? Any kind of GL option that you feel can really shine in this game? Both of you, Vibor, you can go first. If Ritik Ritik Shopping plays, then he he can be a good option for uh, GL. That's that's the only thing, I guess. And Nikhil, bye. Anything from you? See, I think last two games have shown us that uh, again, safe combinations are not working. Uh, hmm. Bit KL, bit uh, bit two DK. Uh, very interesting to see how Butler goes in the game against Delhi. So hmm. enough signs for you to back uh, the trend that is happening. That is, teams that are batting first are able to win more. Because the pitches are slowing down, so if yeah. you are very strong on that plan, then go with that field and take a spinner or a bowler as your captain in the second inning, and back a safe technical guy in the first inning. So someone like a Gill we saw yesterday, you know, yeah. guys who are who are able to anchor are probably good good enough to be a vice captain, and then the attacking bowler can be a captain. So I think that is one thing that you can follow for the rest of the tournament. True, and I think Conway totally fits the bill in yes. terms of technical perfection. I think yeah. my big call for this game is if Shivam Dube is batting first, and if the pitch is fresher in nature, then he can surely be a good call, especially because CSK currently have only five bowling options. So there's, I don't know if Dhoni will look at that option, but practically yeah. that is his only option in the scenario where he needs one. So I think that can be a good call. So I think that was a great preview. Thank you both for joining us. and uh, remember to join us on the telegram channel for your final team second innings updates 
And yes, we have a small twist for the giveaway for Friday. So this is your Thursday question. The question is quite simple. Just put it down in the comments box. How many runs do you think Ishan Kishan will score in this game? And whoever answers that correctly, you're getting the giveaway code for the next game exclusively from us. So all the good luck to you. That's a good way. Thank you. That's a good way to go. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having us. All the best for your upcoming videos and all the best for your channel. Thank you. Thank you so much.